Hi, I'm Donald Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today we're taking a look at Requiem Light Symphonic Choir by Sound Iron. Now, Sound Iron first released this instrument a few years ago, and it was focused on delivering mix ready sound right out of the library. In this new revamped and easy to use interface, uh, Requiem Light is now a contact player instrument. And it really does excel at a very light RAM usage and has very small disk footprints. Library downloads is 4.4 gigabytes. That's uh, compressed down from 6.25. Downloads via Continuata's Connect, so it's very easy to plug in your serial number and Connect takes care of the rest. Sample set is uh, just over 4,000 samples from a hall in the historic St. Paul's Cathedral in San Francisco. The library comes with 14 NKIs um, with hundreds of sculptable uh, chants and singing phrases, as well as a lot of very creative instruments. There's 119 custom convolution reverbs and effects and pulses included. Library's uh, contact player instrument means compatible with both the full and free version of contact and loads right into your library's tab. Requiem Light Symphonic Choir sells for $199 from Sound Iron. Now, it's been a few years since Sound Iron released the original Requiem Light, but it might as well have been recorded last week. sample set is crisp and clear. Now I can't speak for the old version of Requiem Light, but I can say that with this new interface, it's very easy to customize and kind of sculpt uh, phrases that you'd like in playback. Um, combining and fading between the different chants and phrases included in the library. In addition to uh, men's and women's vowel sustains, you also have uh, the ensemble patches with both men and women for legato, vowel sustains, marcados, and staccatos. Crossfading between the two sources for vowels and uh, consonances gives you uh, quite a bit of expression just with the two. You've got swells, which you can MIDI CC, attack, release, presence controls, as well as a slew of legato controls. There's also an instrument dedicated to choral effects. And as expected with most sound iron instruments, they use their unique sound design skills to custom create uh, ambience patches and soundscapes in its own NKI from the original source material. This patch alone lends itself to some beautiful and haunting sounds. You also have a couple uh, soloist instruments, one uh, for uh, soprano uh, Latin phrases.
as well as an instrument for the tenor solo phrases. Instrument also gives you some speed controls, playback sync to tempo, or uh, you can vary it up if you want to get it to match something. Library comes with a collection of effects, including the EQ, uh, filter setting, a compressor, and some really great sounding reverbs that um, were handpicked, obviously, for this uh, choir and choral material, as well as a Sound Irons effects rack. Now, there's a lot to like about this library. On the pros, you've got, uh, you know, the Div Divisi instruments with male and female instruments divided up. The true vowel legatos sound really nice, and being able to morph between one source sample to the next um, really expands what you're able to do there. Uh, I could see the ensembles being very useful, especially if you're composing um, with a, a orchestra, if you wanted to get this big sound. Overall, I think the sound recording quality and the sample playback for these just sounds really clean, clear, and as I mentioned before, the selected reverbs really do add to what the library has to offer. The additions of the choral effects are great, and uh, the sound design pads, um, I think those might be you know, the icing on the cake as far as the library goes. If there's any cons to the library here, um, the thing that I'm gonna have to call out is I don't see a way to kind of trigger or cut up some of the phrase samples other than using the phrase articulations and those phrase articulations are limited to your syllable master uh, instrument so um, you know for instance the solo instruments unless I'm mistaken those phrases uh, you just get them singing what they uh, have been recorded as, although you can change your speed and fade between one sample source and the next, you're not able to stack or cut them up into phrases the way that you are able to with that master ensemble patch. Thanks so much for checking out the video. I hope this has helped give you a little bit of insight into what Sound Iron's Requiem Symphonic Choir Light has to offer. It does excel at exactly what the Sound Iron team set out to do, which is create a great sounding library with a minimal footprint that uh, is ready to go into your mix right out of its stereo output. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. We'd love your support. And be sure to head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and software deals.